All right, now we're going to talk about um, some intrinsic muscles. Uh, these are muscles that begin and end within the hand. That's where they get their name, intrinsics. These are all thumb muscles, but three of them, the, ab the flexor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis brevis and opponent's pollicis are the three thenar muscles having to do with the thenar eminence of the thumb. And the other one is the adductor pollicis, which is not considered a thenar muscle. It's a deep muscle of the hand. It's primarily an adductor, and it's innervated uh, like all of the other A, B, and adductors of the fingers, the inner ossei, by the ulnar nerve. The three thenar muscles are innervated by the median nerve. Uh, and in carpal tunnel syndrome, these three thenar muscles, if the carpal tunnel syndrome is unattended to and is long standing, uh, we can see atrophy of these muscles. Okay, so deepest, which is where your construction begins, is this blue muscle, the opponent's pollicis, arises from, metacar from carpal bones and comes around the first metacarpal and inserts on the length of the outside edge of the first metacarpal, so only crosses the carpo-metacarpal joint, the CMC joint of the thumb. Um, it is involved in rotating the metacarpal at the CMC joint, and that movement is involved in opposition. Then, in front of the thumb, and more superficial than the opponent's pollicis, is the flexor pollicis brevis, this yellow muscle. Arises from similar carpal bones, but inserts on the proximal phalanx of the thumb in front, and so crosses the CMC and the metacarpal phalangeal joint, and it is a flexor of the thumb, involved in um, sweeping the thumb, and when it's involved in opposition, it's part of opposition to flex and get toward the destination. Then, just as superficial, but over on the outside, is the screen muscle, the AB ductor pollicis brevis, arising from carpal bones again and going to the proximal phalanx, but on the outside, so it's in a position to cause AB duction. Um, all three muscles are thumb positioning muscles, very important in positioning the thumb for function, all in, innervated by the median nerve. Then on the other side, the adductor side of the thumb, which would be this motion, we have the adductor pollicis, a strong muscle involved always in uh, tightening the grip in different prehension patterns. This one arises mostly from the shaft of the third metacarpal. It's in two heads, an oblique and a transverse head. They both converge and insert on the ulnar side of the proximal phalanx of the thumb. And its primary function is to adduct or pull the thumb in toward the palm. I will use another small segment of lecture to talk about um, these other muscles that are also intrinsics but arise from or insert on tendons.